Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. iPhone XS. I saw that many people watch my previous video where I unboxed my old iPhone 6S so I decided why don't I do another video and I'll unbox my current phone. So like and subscribe and without further direction, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so this video is filmed on my iPad Air 4 color green. Yes, I'll keep repeating that my favorite color is green. Because usually, as I have mentioned in previous videos, I film them on my current iPhone, as I already said, it's iPhone XS. But since it's the start of today's video, I decided to use my other device to film this video. So right now, let's get to the actual unboxing. So the box doesn't include many things, but as usual, we have the good old goodies. So this is the original brick, which came with this iPhone. I haven't used it up to now because I'm using my old brick for the iPhone XS which I have because it's completely functional and I decided to leave this in case something happens with the other one. I have good old headphones which I managed so hard to put in their case so to look good in the video I failed a bit but these are the headphones which I'm currently using. I have to say that originally I wanted to use my old headphones from my previous iPhone but I can't because now the end of the headphones where you plug them in your phone is different and you can use your old one, sadly. And of course I have a cable, this is the current cable which I'm using, if you have watched my previous video you know the first cable from my first iPhone what it looked like, so now I am using this cable which is in pretty good condition I have to say. I'm trying to keep my things safe, so here it is, the cable. And actually, this is the box. It's pretty empty. There were videos about destroying the boxes. There is a hidden case. There is nothing. It's just solid cardboard. That's it. There is nothing else in the case. So don't destroy your boxes until, well, you might feel sorry at the end. But that's it. That's what it was in the box. So here it is. The star of today's video. And let's do the satisfying unboxing. Okay, now my screen protector is dirty, but anyways, this is the magical phone. It's completely functional and I'm gonna turn it on for you guys. Let's be honest, this phone was turned on before I started the video, but I decided for the sake of it, I'm gonna turn it off. And here it is, the beautiful Apple logo. Can't wait to unbox my new one if I finally decide if I want a new one or not. So here it is, it takes some time to respond. This is how it used to look like when you start a new iPhone. Now they have different ones, so there it is. My SIM card is blocked, but I know my passcode anyways. So here it is, completely functional iPhone. Here are all the apps which I have right now, they're not much, but that's everything what I have. It's a pretty functional phone. I already have showed you many apps from here. My home screen here take a closer look of what exactly I have. Most of the apps are from Apple for example. I don't have any apps here downloaded by me. These are ones. So yeah I have offloaded some of the apps to save some memory and that's why I was thinking to get a new one just because of the sake of more memory. But uh, yeah it's a fully functional phone and now let's get to the cases. So the first case which I'm going to show is actually a case which you have seen. If you have watched how protective my cases are, I made a video about that. You will see this a big busted case. Technically, all the cases which I'm going to show you have seen them, but this is the first one. Yeah, it looks crap. It was such a beautiful case. It made my phone look bougie, but well, then it broke. So for this, this video, look at it. It made my phone like now the iPhone 13 here thicker but with the round edges. It looks so good, but when you look at it at the back, it's just not something that you want, of course, have a passcode. And yeah, this is not the case 
for me, that's why I don't wear it anymore. Cause well, look at it. Look at this boy here. Would you wear that? Honestly, I I wore it for a couple of times, like probably two weeks. But then I feel embarrassed walking with this, and I'm like, sorry, I paid money for you, but I'm gonna change you. And I did. I changed these kids. Second kiss is also one with which you are familiar. It comes in this box right here. Basically, it's a case which you design yourself. Aka, you choose the case you want and a picture. The company makes it for you. So here it is. The beautiful white only case. It was in my case where I was obsessed with the boy band. I still like them, but the obsession is gone. So here it is, the case. It's completely protective, functional. The only problem was here, it started to... Basically, these two things don't belong together. Try to use glue, but well, it didn't work out very well. I almost glued my hands. It was a very fast drawing super glue. This is how my phone used to look like for two damn years. Yes, two years I was with this phone case. It's a very good case, I love it a lot, but... I decided it's time for a change. So I did change my case, but I don't think I'll ever give this one because I chose the picture and it's kind of a memory from what I used to like. So yeah, it's a, I have to say it's a special case for me. Okay, so the last case which I'm gonna show you and this is the one which I'm currently using is one part of the Runway collection which Shein made with them. I know that many people talk negative about Shein, but I'm not gonna do any comments right now. I like the case a lot because I feel like it kind of represents me in some way. And also the case is good because it's protective. It comes with styrofoam, so let me do you the favor. Oh yeah, the beautiful styrofoam. This is the case. You have seen it already. Good, protective. I can do whatever I want with it and nothing will happen. But look at the signs down the stars. Says Gemini. Yes, I'm Gemini. I'm not gonna tell you my birthday because it's not something I want to share. But here it is. I like it because I feel like sometimes I'm good, but I can be the devil as well. I really feel like I have two faces sometimes. I don't know if it's true or not, but Gemini definitely definitely can hide their emotions. So if you are a Gemini, comment down below. I would like your comment. This is how it looks on the phone. Pretty cool case. I use it every single day. It's a bit bumpy here on the camera, I don't know why. Look, I don't know if it's visible, but you can basically press it. I don't know why it's acting like that, but although it's a good case, great finish to my phone. I've been using it for like four or five months already, and I just love the case, okay? It's a very cute case, and I like it a lot. Okay, guys, that is it. I really hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below which of the three cases I showed you was your favorite. Personally, okay, I like all of them because after all, I picked the cases, so it's something that I like. But there is no thing which lasts forever, even people. So you have to change these sometimes, just as I changed my case to this one. Also, I'm thinking to change this phone. I'm not completely sure should I do it because that's a lot of money. I do have them, but that will leave me almost broke, and yeah. This one still has some memory left, but I want to upgrade a bit also because of the camera. As I have said it a million times, and I'm gonna say it again, I'm filming my videos usually on this one, except for today's video. So I need a better camera, definitely, and I want to use the max as I can. So if I'm going to buy one, I'm doing the best of the best. But yeah, it's a pretty good phone. I like it because it's doing everything what I wanted to do and it's a super great phone. So that's the video for today. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!